Hi, I'm Nick with the Peoria Riverfront Museum. I have a, a science video for you from our virtual Peoria. Simple electric motors. And these are possible because electricity flowing through a wire creates a magnetic force field. This was discovered 200 years ago. It was just a year after that, somebody figured out a way to set up the wires and a magnet so that they push each other and create continuous motion. So for our simple electric motor, I've got a battery that has stored electricity. I've got a magnet, and attached to the magnet is a screw, which becomes magnetized when it touches the magnet, and therefore I can attach it to the bottom of the battery. And uh, the point of the screw is that it's just dangling there, so it's kind of free to move around if I push it. And we're going to try to push it in just a moment uh, using electricity. So we're going to get the electricity flowing by taking a copper wire, which is metal but not magnetic. And I'll touch it to the metal on top of the battery, touch it to the metal of the magnet, and we should get an electric current, electricity flowing through the wire, through the magnet, through the screw, through the battery, around and around, and that electricity will create a magnetic force field, which will then push against the magnet that's attached to the screw. So I'll go ahead and try to try to attach these. Push that on the and there you can see the screw and the magnet spinning around, a little unstable, a little And this is possible because, again, as the electricity is flowing around and around and around, there's now a magnetic force field uh, all around the wire and the battery and, and the magnet and the screw. And so they can push each other and spin that around. So very simple electric motor. I'll go ahead and make one more simple electric motor with one less piece. We've got the battery, again, uh, carrying uh, stored electricity. We've got the magnet, this time directly attached to the battery. We're not going to use the, the screw uh, to spin around. Instead, we bent the copper wire in a way so that uh, it can dangle loosely and feel that magnetic force and get, and get pushed around. So I'll try to slide it onto the battery so that the metal of the wire touches the metal on top of the battery as well as the metal on the magnet and we'll get electricity flowing around and again that electricity will create a magnetic force field all around the wire and the battery and as well as it, as it goes through the magnet. And hopefully we'll get those pushing each other around. And there it goes. So if you've ever, and you, of course you have, <laughs> used electricity to make something move, like a fan, for example, that works because not only is there electricity going inside the machinery there, but there's also a fan, or I'm sorry, a, a, a magnet inside there. It's not always a magnet, though. You can actually, because the wires create a magnetic force field, you can actually uh, wind the wires around a bunch of different ways and arrange them so that when they turn into magnets, they'll push each other. So you might not find a magnet inside if you take some motor apart. But uh, I did take a simple motor apart and you can see the wires to carry the electricity, and these things around the wires are magnets, which you can see because they stick to the magnet. All right, let me know if you have any questions, any suggestions, you can leave those in the comments. We are gonna leave a link in the comments to the website where I saw instructions on how to make these so that you can make these at home if you like. Um, as always, thanks to our museum members and Visionary Society members for your support. Bye.